Hey friends, Kevin here, and today I'm going to answer a question that comes up a whole lot in different forums, different groups, and that is, can I run a little ceramic heater, little space heater, off of a Jackery or a Goal Zero or one of these portable power stations? You can, but you may not get the results that you want, so I'm going to explain exactly what you can expect right now. Now, I've gone over this stuff in other videos, and I'll link those below, where I explain how to kind of figure out the power ratings of these things. But as a very basic, very simple thing, usually the way Goal Zero and Jackery and a lot of these other companies name this stuff, whatever number they put on there, it's going to be the amount, the maximum amount of consistent power you're going to be able to pull out of that. So if it's called a Jackery 500, you can use a device on it up to about 500 watts. If you have a Jackery 1000 or a Goal Zero 1000, then you can use a device that goes up to about 1000 watts. Now, any of these ceramic heaters, space heaters, electric type heaters that you're, you're going to be looking at and think about plugging in, most of them are going to have a high and low switch on them somewhere. And the high is going to be 1,200 watts or more. And your low will be six to 900 watts generally. Although I found one for you that runs on 500 that we'll get to in a minute. But as long as you have a basic understanding of this, that means that you can take virtually any of these heaters, turn down on a low setting, and you could plug into a Jackery 1000 or a Goal Zero 1000, and it would actually run. Now, I found this heater. This is made by Amazon. It is one speed. It is made for low wattage. It is 500 watts constant. So that means you could actually run this on something like a Jackery 500. What you need to consider though, and the important part and the part that may be a little bit disappointing is how long they're going to run. Because with any of these battery packs, portable power stations, whatever you want to call them, they are good at low wattage stuff for long periods of time or the better ones with higher capacity are good for high wattage stuff for very short periods of time. So if you have something like a Jackery 1000, Goal Zero 1000, you can run a coffee pot, you can run a hair dryer, because you're only using those things for five minutes, seven minutes, whatever at a time. So while you're good with stuff like that, one of these ceramic any type of space heater like this that you're going to be running in a cold van, when you plug it in and turn it on, it's going to be pretty much running all the time. And unfortunately, that's why this is not going to be really a heating solution for you. Because if you buy the little Amazon heater I'm talking about that's 500 watts and you have a Jackery 500, it will run it, but it will run it for about an hour, and that's it. And at that point, your battery pack is going to be completely drained. You have hit the capacity for that thing. If you plugged it into a Jackery 1000, it would run for about two hours, at which point your battery is completely drained, completely depleted. A larger space or ceramic heater, again, when we were talking about getting up into the 600 and 900 watt or so range on a low setting. Again, with a Jackery 1000, you're going to get a little over an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and that's it. And at that point, you will completely have drained these battery packs because you're drawing this high wattage constantly. So in a nutshell, the answer is, are to the question, can I use this? You can, but the real answer is it's just not going to be something you can rely on 
if you're going into really cold climates. And again, that's why you need to be looking at something like propane, even something that uses the little propane canisters, something like these Mr. Buddy, Little Buddy series of heaters, which are linked down below. Or if you're doing a more permanent installation and you don't mind cutting holes in your van, then you can get into what they refer to as these, they call these Chinese diesel heaters. And the reason they're called that is they're a knockoff of the original German brand that all of these Asian companies are doing and they're doing for a much cheaper price. The quality is a little hit and miss, but they, they do work. As long as you end up with a good one, it's, I mean, they certainly do what they're supposed to do. But again, you have to vent those units. So that requires cutting holes in a van. And a lot of people with newer vans do not want to be poking two and three inch holes into the side of their van in order to set one of these up. So for most people, especially starting out, the answer on one of these quite simply for a heat source is going to be going with one of these Mr. Buddy, Little Buddy things. For when you are in those colder climates and the, the ultimate goal is to really try to get you somewhere into a warmer climate if, if you're doing this in the winter, unless you're just the type of person that really, really enjoys winter and you enjoy cold and you enjoy camping and winter camping and, and these sorts of things. Because if you do, you already more than likely have the experience to know what you're facing and know how to dress and know how to survive when you get into those lower temperatures. But for the average person starting out in van life that has never tried making it through in their vehicles with temperatures that are borderline freezing, 40 degrees, 35 degrees, you know, 30 degrees right at the freezing level. And certainly any more than that, it's going to be a different experience. It's probably going to be a miserable experience if you don't have the ability to either make it to a warmer climate or understand that that with these propane heaters, they're going to do a good job for you, but it's basically something you're going to use to heat your van up and then go to bed. And staying warm is going to rely on how you're dressed and having proper covers. So there are some different things that you can plug in the battery packs as far as heating pads, different things like that. I'm going to do follow up with another video what works and what doesn't because I, I see people all the time also that they're ordering these little what are supposed to be 12 volt little electric blankets they're much smaller than a normal blanket it's like a really tiny throw more than anything else they just don't in general produce enough to do anything to where you're really going to tell a difference so everybody's excited when they stumble across those things on some website Ooh, here's a 12 volt throw for $35. And I can tell you, you just about would be better off taking that $35 and setting it on fire because you would probably create more warmth than you're going to off of one of those 12 volt electric throws. But we'll get into all of that in a future video. If you have any questions on this stuff, of course, put them down below. If you have any experience with this stuff we're talking about, your opinion's always valued. We all learn from each other with this van life stuff, and we'll talk soon.